welcome back. I want to show you today how I made this um, little Thanksgiving ensemble for Thanksgiving Day. Since we're going to be at some friend's house, I thought I would make a few decorations uh, for the table. And this I'm going to place around the uh, utensils. So it's a quick project and uh, let me show you how you're going to do that. So first let me tell you what you're going to need. This um, is a half inch strip, really uh, about four inches is what you're going to need. Uh, we're going to cut that down a lot. You're going to need some old olive ink and this is the Fabulous Phrases stamp set. We're going to need two strips of DSP and I have the first edition which is two inches by eight and a half and then I have this piece which is the um, Orchard Harvest uh, designer series paper in the mini and that is one and a quarter by eight and a half. We're also going to use just some uh, scraps of the first edition and we're going to stamp um, the gently falling lined stamp uh, using more mustard ink and then uh, old olive ink. So let's get ready. Now first thing we're going to do is I'm going to just gently put some adhesive on the Orchard Harvard, Orchard Harvest paper and I'm going to put it oh, about right there. All right. Now, you're going to need some about 32 inches of the tool. Okay? Now this could be you could end up being a little bit longer. Um up to you. And the scallop tool, I'm actually going to fold in half. You'll notice that when I'm actually sewing it though, it really does not have to be perfect. Trying to get this to lay perfect is not easy. So, all right, let's get to the sewing machine. Okay, so I know it's not going to be easy for you to actually see me doing the sewing, but let me talk to you about how I get it prepared. Um, so we have this strip of piece of the DSP. I'm just going to put it on my machine. Um, and the tool, I'm just going to wrap it a little bit at the end for my start. Okay, and I'm going to place that on the edge and then put the footer down and we're going to get to sewing. I'm doing a zigzag. I'm using this Janome Mini that I've had for quite some time. I think I paid 40 bucks for it. It is like the best machine. Now, what I like to do is start the gather first by just kind of taking it and wrapping it like this and then sticking it under the footer. Um, but this tool is so easy to, to gather that you don't even have to lift your footer. You're just going to continue pushing the tool underneath the footer. And if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. Doesn't have to be. Just that pretty gathering is nice. Let's see if I can get this a little bit more straight here. I'm going to do a little bit of a back stitch on the at the very end just to make sure that stays intact and lift it up and I still have a little bit more tool left over not a problem and we're going to cut the edge just like that and now we have our gathered tool okay so the next thing we're going to do since now we have this tool all the way across we're just going to bend it just like this now you can see it and now we're going to sew right on the edge. I'm also going to do a zigzag stitch, making sure to do a back and forth stitch at the end so your thread doesn't come out. And there we go. All right. That edge piece is going to be covered by our leaves, so it's really not a big deal how straight that is. All right. Now let's get busy. Alright, now let's get busy with the leaves. Now we're going to cut out one of the green and one of the more mustard. Okay, now that we've got our 
leaves cut out. Uh, now we're going to actually use a needle and some linen thread and I'm going to sew these on because I really want them to stay. So I'm going to place one of them there. Now you're working with the uh, that limited edition paper and designer series paper is actually pretty uh, easy to push a needle through so not hard at all. And you're going to see how I do this. Not like that. And I'm just going to put a couple stitches in there so they so it'll stay. And you're not going to really see that stitching, so I'm not really that worried about how the stitching goes because nobody's really going to see it. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and just cut that piece off and then I'm going to bring this guy right there. I'm going to do the same thing, come underneath and I'm just catching it with the tool and then I'm going to trim that up, trim up the other ones. I'm just going to I don't think anybody will be tugging on those, so I'm not, again, I'm not worried about that. All right, so let's get back to the banner. In the banner, I'm going to come in, and I'm going to take my square punch and make it into a banner. Now, one of the things I like to do to um, make the banners a little bit more pliable is just take my bone folder and bring it back and forth a little bit, and you can see that now that banner, I can almost do whatever I want with it, okay? Now, this piece is a little bit too long. I'm going to trim it and then I'm going to take an antique brad, I'm sorry, a vintage trinket brad. I'm just going to bend this piece over a little bit and put a vintage brad right into the center there. Tack it like that and then use my finger to move it a little bit. And then we're going to take a dimensional. I'm going to put one on the very edge right there. Oh, come on. I'm going to put it so it's more on the paper, so it's going to stick. And then I'm going to put one more right here so we can give it that wispy banner look. Oh my word. Can you say troubles with the dimensionals this morning? All right. And there you go. There you have it. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.